Well, welcome back to Homer Backyard. We're still here at Well Sweep Herb Farm. Um, I had to stop before we show you the display gardens and look at this. Now, some of you say, oh, what's that tree still doing alive? This tree was probably over 100 years when my grandparents bought the property and uh, it had a big top to it, but that fell off, but that didn't stop my family from still loving the tree. We've allowed other sucker shoots to come up. That apple tree over to your right side there, we allowed uh, a sucker shoot to come up and it makes a nice canopy now. And you know, for kids, when they see something like this, it reminds you of some wicked witch living in there or some <laughs> animal sanctuary. And again, it is an animal sanctuary. Absolutely, lots of fairies still live in there. <laughs> but right behind you, we oh. have a, a wonderful lemon verbena. Oh, that's what I'm picking smell up. Smell that, just yeah, brush no, that I, Oh, I can smell it already without having to. Oh, that's a lovely flavor, isn't my it? My favorite cake that my grandmother makes, she makes with these leaves. Uh, it's very easy to take some lemon verbena, throw a sprig in a pitcher of water and make some lemon water for your guests. These topiaries go in and out of the garden every year for the last 50 years. Gotcha. And this is our Elizabethan knot garden right over here where crimson barberry, boxwood, Jean Davis lavender, and germander are all made to look like they're weaving in and out of gotcha. each other. I'd really love to talk to you about a couple of cool things in this exotic bed right here. Exotic bed, I like yes. the sound of that. Yep. Uh, right here, we have something from South America. This big leaf is called a root beer plant. Uh, you, usually you have to add it to a mole sauce with chocolate and cayenne, or you uh, wrap it like a tamale and then bake it. And eat the whole thing? They'll, you unwrap it? They usually just impart the flavor. They usually don't eat the leaf. All right, I better watch it what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna take it by, I promise you. Patrick, what else we got? Okay, so we have some cool root herbs here. We have true ginger, uh, Thai ginger or galanga as well as orange turmeric and lots of different colors of turmeric as well. Now I can see the ginger root that I'm familiar with. Yeah, so this is a seasonal herb. You'll grow it out all season like you would garlic. You dig it up in the fall when it turns all yellow and then you could break it into pieces and use it you fresh. Store it. Excellent. I love turmeric because we're now just coming out of the herbal dark ages uh, with the advent of antibiotics in the 1920s. We've kind of lost all of our herbal knowledge, but there's now lots of science behind turmeric showing that it's uh, more anti-inflammatory than ibuprofen. Uh, Fresh turmeric, I've never had. Yeah, and uh, turmeric will also be found in curry. This is a curry leaf. Smell that flavor right there. Just like the oh, zatar yeah. we talked about yep. earlier, curry is a blend of spices, but if you're from southern India, true curry isn't curry without a curry leaf oh, stripped into yeah, the I'm pot. Yeah, I'm familiar with these. These have got the most unusual taste. A really unusual, a mild, it's not a hot taste. No. Just a very different taste. Excellent. So Patrick, these are the plants that like animals. These yep. are the carnivores. Eat we animals. have all <laughs> kinds of pitcher plants over here. They have a sweet nectar right around the rim mixed with a little narcotic. So the bugs sip on that, they get numbed out and they fall right in. We also have these sticky sundews. You can see this bug is trapped right here from these sticky little tentacles. Oh, look and at it that. will yeah. catch it, wiggle it to the center, and if it's big enough, oh. roll over it. Clever. And then these are the famous Venus flytraps. Now each leaf can only go off about three times before that leaf dies. So, and actually it can count. Stick your finger in there one time for me. One. And twi- Oh, look at that. <laughs> Just as well I wasn't there. Let me try that Let's one. try this one. One, two. Oh, it's got oh, me, it's got me. me, it's got me. Oh my God. Like, <laughs> All right, there we go. Just kidding. <laughs> Quite a plant though, isn't it? <laughs> Quite a movement in that, a sudden movement. Okay, now you can't play with the flytrap a lot, but you can play with this as much as you want. This is called the sensitive plant, Mimosa oh, pudica. So sorry. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> Look at it curl up. And you can pull on it. And this will come back in about five minutes, so you can play with it as much as you want. Look at that. And this plant here is not carnivorous. This is self-defense, not offense. Gotcha. It's just trying to hide from you because it thinks you're a predator. That's, that's actually amazing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's like a little pet. Well, Patrick, I see you're growing a lot of flowers here. Yes, we uh, grow all these out and then we dry them in our gift shop and my grandmother makes all kinds of dried arrangements and wreaths out of them. Now tell us about how people can find out about WellSweep. They can find us on our website at wellsweep.com or they can find us on Facebook or on Instagram. Uh, WellSweep Herb Farm is all, all they have to search for. Excellent. Now one final thing, I've been told to check out the root cellar where you store like carrots and apples. Yes, we put our carrots and our apples and our fig trees in the root cellar over the winter time. Um, I got to get to work though, so I'm going to let you find the cave crickets in there yourself. <laughs> cave crickets, I'll check it out. Thank you. Well, here we go. This must be the root cellar. Classic design. It's dug into the side of a hill, so it's below ground and it keeps everything cool, but doesn't allow the freezing weather to destroy the fruit. Got to check it out. And apparently there is a whole winter supply of carrots and apples. Oh, really dark. Wow, look at all those carrots. All right, that's enough of that. This 
doesn't look good. Patrick, I think I'll latch myself in. 